What's up YouTube? It's Cricket Long Jump here. So, I got a little bored and uh, just wanted to uh, get this video out uh, so that way I have some more videos for y'all to go on. Um, what I was talking about as far as the, uh, the complete roof system that I was talking about to create more of a barrier and more of a roof uh, for you. So uh, I'll go through that real quick and uh, we'll just go from there. So as you can see, here's the new and improved shelter. Okay, so you remember this part right here was not there. It was just right here and down at the corner there. Okay, so like I said, now you have a nice shelter and roof. Okay, so as you can see, the crisscross and the diagonals and the tuck and weave and everything else, but you got your main supports here. And you got a main support here okay and then also these bigger sticks are laid across on top and laid across right there and then you got your brushery on the inside and you're intertwining these in and out open over up and over like that so creating a shingle effect and then you know like i said and then you block this i left that area open just a little bit to create more of a wind flow uh in here since we do have a lot of sides blocked um <clears throat> and uh, just create more of a wind flow and uh, circulation, I guess you would say. But uh, but uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. But anyway, you know, and then like I said, you have this spot, if you're back up in here, you got a spot, you can put your fire right here. That way it's completely out in the open and uh, it'll still reflect heat on the inside. Um, <clears throat> you know, and like I said, it's just, this is the way I would do it. Obviously, if I was in a different area um, with uh, different materials, I would use different materials, but these are the materials that I have around me uh, that make sense, and so that's what I use, you know, and, and I also uh, wanted to show you guys too what I did as well is I also kind of put some leaves and some other sticks on top there uh, on it uh, just to create more of barrier between me and the rain or, or wind or whatever, you know, and, it, and that kind of weights everything down and it kind of creates more of a barrier. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll put more pine straw on and everything else. And then, like I said, we got the backside here that's completely, you know, covered up and whatnot there but like i said i just wanted to give y'all an update on that nice little shelter area here nice little cubby hole you know get you out of the rain get you out of the weather whatever this would be more of a uh i would say a long-term uh primitive shelter um obviously you know if you're going to be in an area short term that lean to would have been uh just fine um you wouldn't have had to go that drastic to put a roof on it um on top of that you know and there's a lot of other things that can still be upgraded on this shelter um if you was to be in a long-term uh, survival situation that you know you had good um <clears throat> surrounding areas you know you had good water you had a good source of food um and you know you would want to stay there um you know for as long as possible so that way you know you wouldn't uh, burn up any uh, calories and, and stuff like that so uh you know so like i said i mean this is just a little bit of me just doing what i do so you know if you have any questions or you know have any requests or anything like that just comment in the link um or comment on the video itself um you know, like I said, I'm uh, I'm a newbie on this, but just trying to get my name out and, uh, you know, trying to get some subscribers. So if you like the video, like the video and subscribe it. Again, this is Cricket Long Jump for Primitive Shelter. Thanks. We'll see you.